the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI has taken action against Vijay Shekhar Sharma, the founder of 197 Communications Laltidi, the parent company of Paydem, and board members who served during the company's initial public offering, IPO, in November 2021. Shokha's notices have been issued to them following allegations of misrepresentation of facts. SEBI's notices specifically focus on Sharma's alleged non-compliance with promoter classification norms. The investigation was initiated based on information provided by the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, which had previously scrutinized Paytm Payments Bank. The main issue revolves around whether Sharma should have been classified as a promoter considering his management control over the company during the IPO filing, instead of being categorized as an employee. As a result, show cause notices have also been issued to the directors who endorsed Sharma's position during that period. If Sharma had been classified as a promoter, he would have been ineligible for employee stock options, ESOPs after the listing, as SEBI regulations prohibit promoters from receiving ESOPs post-IPO. However, according to sources, Sharma transferred 5% of his shareholding to a family, trust named VSS Holdings Trust, before filing the IPO document. This reduced his shareholding to 9, 6%, just below the 10% threshold specified in the rules. Despite this, Sharma continued to exert significant control over the company as a board member and overseer of its operations. SEBI believes that Sharma should have been classified as a promoter and it was the board member's fiduciary duty to verify and confirm the accuracy of his claims. This case is unique as SEBI is holding directors accountable for a potential compliance lapse that was not flagged by bankers or statutory auditors. Typically, SEBI's actions against company directors involve financial fraud. Under normal circumstances, unless a company declares itself as professionally managed, is assumed to be promoter-driven. To be considered professionally managed, no single shareholder should hold more than a 10% stake or have control over the company. Emails requesting comments from SEBI, 197 Communications, and the directors who served on the board during the uh, IPO have not been answered. It is worth noting that according to the IPO offer document, VSS Holdings Trust is fully owned by Sharma. However, in past media statements, the company has denied Sharma's control over the 5% shareholding held by the trust.